How do you upload a video to YouTube as unlisted? Very important that you learn how to do this. You never want to upload a video to YouTube and have it go public right then. So I'm going to teach you how to do it the right way. So we're going to talk about why this is important. I'm going to show you how to do this with your upload defaults and how to do it individually every time you upload a video. So if you upload a video and right then it goes live to the public, even if you then change it to private or unlisted, and then a week later when you're ready for it to go public and then you put it live again, it'll show that your video will have a week of history as if you uploaded it a week ago and it's got zero views. So that, that would hurt your video. You always want to make sure that when you upload it, it goes to private or, or unlisted. Private just means you and only authorized people can see it or unlisted means that anyone with the link can see it, but it's not searchable and it doesn't show up publicly on your channel. So again, you want it to either be private or unlisted when you upload it, having never gone to the public yet, so that then you can schedule it down the road. Now there's actually a scheduling feature in YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate all of this for you. Let me show you the channel default settings first. All right, so we are logged into the Nicolene Peck Teaching Self-Government channel. We're gonna come down here to settings. If you look down a couple, you'll see these upload defaults. Now you can put a default title. That doesn't really make sense because every episode is going to have a different title. If you want to put some things in there, you can use that. You can have a default description. We'll talk about the description a little bit more in a minute, but then your visibility. That's the one that we're talking about. First of all is, is do you want it set to public? private or unlisted, private or unlisted, either one will work. If you're going to be sharing the link with people who don't have login access to your channel, then unlisted is going to be helpful. Otherwise, private works great as well. So you can see on this channel, we've got the visibility by default set to private. Now, since we're on this screen and you see here, there's tags, there's a lot of default tags. Did you know I could actually delete all of these? And when we upload a video, I actually don't have to put anything in the tag field, the keyword tags. I don't have to put anything. Doesn't that sound crazy? Cause I'm the guy that goes after search and I want people to be found for my tags or for my keywords. Well, I'll explain that in a moment as well. YouTube actually doesn't use the tag field hardly at all, but let's focus on unlisted and then we'll come back to these other topics. If we come over here to create and I click on upload video, I'm going to select a file from my computer. Now I just so happen to have Paul Jenkins folder open. He's another parenting expert. All right. So how do I help my grown child make better choices? Let's pretend we're uploading that video to Nicolene's channel here. So it automatically grabs the file name, puts it as a title. I've got this description template that I would modify, but we're going to scroll down. It makes you check whether it's made for kids or not. And I'm not going to publish this video on this channel, but if I hit next, and I keep going all the way until the, the fifth one here. It's going to make me choose monetization. I'll just say on. Then we're going to go to add suitability. And I'll just say none of the above just to verify that. I need to verify that it's safe for ads. Okay, this screen is where I would add the cards or the end screens, which are all very helpful. Then when you get to the, the very end here, then it comes up here. Now by default, because I had private set as the default setting, private is selected and is specifically for this video. If I just wanted to change it to unlisted, or if there were some rare reason why I wanted it to, to go public, I can make that change here. Now here's the thing. If I hadn't changed my default settings to private, it would have been public. And then the one that would have been suggested here is public. And there's so many steps to go through that I might forget. And I might leave this as public and, and click save, which would publish the video. So I always double check. I make sure that default settings send it to private or unlisted. And then when I get in here and I get to this visibility tab here, I want to make sure, yep, it says private or unlisted, but never public. So just for the sake of this demonstration, let me hit save. I'm just going to delete this video afterwards. I'll go back. Let's see. No, save. I'll say publish. So this video has officially been uploaded to Nicolene's channel. Let me hit close. Now, if I come over here into content, you'll find this video, you know, it's got Paul Jenkins name on it. That's why we know we're looking at the right one. When I come over here where it says pending and there's this little drop down arrow, notice that there's another option down here that says schedule. 
So I, if I wanted to go public right this minute, then I can come here and click public, and then I would have to, to hit publish. But instead of doing that, I'll come down here to schedule, and I can pick the date. So let's say I want it to go live on Tuesday, October 3rd, which is future as far as me filming this. And I wanted it to go live at, let's say, 5.30 a.m. And I can, I can pick the time zone and whatnot. And then I hit schedule. And now that video is actually scheduled to go live. So if I don't come in and delete this video, it's gonna go live on the wrong channel, but I did it for you. I did it so you could see how to do that. So now let's come back and talk about some other elements that I referred to. Let's talk about the description. We'll talk about the keyword tags and why that isn't important anymore. And we'll look at how to add cards and end screens. So when you use a template or you have a default description in here, that can be really helpful because there's a lot of resources that, that we want to put into these channels. This is obviously the Nicolene Peck channel. So this is the default that appears there. There's a lot of information about Nicolene, but the first several paragraphs are about the, the specific episode. And so we need to customize that every single time. And the call to action that we give at the end of the video is gonna be unique. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that that link matches. So when you use a template, you need to make sure that you customize it every single time. Otherwise it's not gonna help you. YouTube will just see that every video has the same description. And so it doesn't know that one video is different from the other based on the description. All right, so you actually have to scroll quite a ways down to be able to find the, the keywords filled. Now here's all the defaults, right? And you know, you can, you can just go through and pick the ones. Like I have, I have extra tools that show me scores. I don't pay attention to any of that. And in fact, you can just delete all and you can leave this field completely blank. But how is that if my strategy is all about search and showing up for my keywords? Well, in previous videos, I've talked a lot about my leaf strategy where we do keyword research first and we find the specific questions that people are asking. And that's what we make the title of our video about, and that's what we outline all of our content around, okay? So YouTube transcribes the video. So if we put in the title of that leaf title that we found, and then we, we mention that in our video, and we talk about it, and we answer that question all through the content of our video, then our transcription has all the right keywords in there. And that's what YouTube uses these days to know what the content of the video is about because people have abused it over the years. They might want their video to rank for some real competitive keywords. And even though they didn't mention it in their video, they would stuff those keywords in there. That's what they call it, keyword stuffing, or they would put in way more keywords than was really helpful. So YouTube over the years has just made the keyword field less and less important and now they focus on that transcription. So now you know exactly how to upload your video to Unlisted and why that's important. And I have a gift for you. I want you to actually succeed in all aspects of YouTube. And I've created this book. I wanna give it to you for free as long as you cover the printing and shipping costs. So let me explain what this book is. I created this because I produce over 50 different YouTube channels that are all lead generators. I mean, many of the channels that I produce are seven and even eight figure earners but we're talking about business revenue. The strategy really works. It took me two years to, to put all my strategy into this book and I have it printed in full color so that I could take you behind the scenes and have you actually internalize everything that's in my head, I put it into this book. So as long as you're willing to pay the printing and the shipping cost, this is my gift to you. Just go to natesyoutubebook.com.